I'm Alex Villarreal with the VOA Special English Economics Report. At the end of December, publisher Merriam-Webster released its list of top 10 words of the year for 2010. Austerity was at the top. The company made its list based on how often people looked up definitions using its online dictionary. Merriam-Webster defines austerity as enforced or extreme economy. Greece and Ireland face huge budget deficits. This has forced severe spending cuts for those governments. And they are not alone. When nations get into financial trouble, they may request loans from the International Monetary Fund or other donors. Donors, however, demand austerity measures, such as sharp cuts in government spending and tax increases. Michael Iza is chief executive of the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales. He says the world financial crisis pushed some governments to spend more. But not all debt problems are the same. Economist Dev Carr says Greece got into trouble by having too many government employees spending freely on retirement pay and misleading investors. Last spring, Greece received rescue loans of over $100 billion. But Germany agreed to help only if Greece promised tough austerity measures. Ireland's budget deficits grew sharply after it guaranteed the bad loans of the country's biggest banks. In November, European officials agreed to a bailout nearly as large as the one Greece received. But austerity measures are unpopular. Large protests have taken place not only in Greece and Ireland, but also in Britain, Portugal, and Romania. Other nations facing big deficits and slow economic growth are also seeing their borrowing costs rise. Credit rating agencies are warning about the debts of Portugal and Spain, and others may follow. In May, European leaders agreed to set aside nearly $700 billion to help troubled countries in the area. But the chief of the International Monetary Fund Dominique Strauss-Kahn says a more organized approach is needed. He said, Europe has to provide a comprehensive solution to this problem. The piecemeal approach, one country after the other one, is not a good one. This could mean austerity will remain a top word for 2011. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal. You can find more economics reports at voaspecialenglish.com.